In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an add a server button for your Discord bot. I know a lot of people think that your bot needs to be verified for this to work, but that's completely false. You can do it um, no matter how many servers your bot is in. Once you're in the developer portal, uh, the link for this will be in the description. Click on applications and find the application you would like to edit. So for me, it's going to be the tutorial bot. Then go into the OAuth 2 section and then go into general right here. You're going to find the default authorization link and the authorization method. So this is where you can actually set the add to server button. Uh, so there's two options for this. One is the in-app authorization and one is a custom URL. The in-app authorization looks a lot like Eskies. It has the add to server button right here. Basically what in-app authorization does is it gives you the invite within the actual app so you don't have to leave Discord. If you haven't already, please add Esky to your servers. It's now verified, but we are still trying to grow. We're almost at 100. The link is in the description. Please consider adding it. Uh, let's get on with the video. The second method is the custom URL. If you choose the custom URL, it's going to look something like this, where if you click the add a server button, it will redirect you to a link that will allow you to add the bot to your server in a website. If you're going to use custom URL, make sure the custom URL has the invite link on it already. And if you go into in-app authorization, which is the one I'm going to be using, you're going to be shown the scopes. Basically, what we're going to do here is if it's a normal prefix bot, all you're going to do is check the bot. If it's an application commands or a slash commands bot, you're going to click both. But for me, this is just a prefix bot, so I'm just going to go with bot. Then you're going to choose your permissions. I'm going to choose admin and click save changes. Once you go into your Discord server, you can find that your bot has the add to server button and it works just like that. If this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will be back here with another coding tutorial in the future. So if you're interested in that, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.